What's up, guys? Welcome back. And we have it again. Mr. Jack Dorsey has resigned as CEO. And who took his place? Mr. Paraj Agrawal. Before we start, guys, please hit like, share, subscribe. Please do leave your comments below. And don't forget to visit my site, realimmigrantcorn.com, to get this t-shirt awesome t-shirt i don't know if you can see it let me remove this thing it says power of parenting this is my own designs pop p-o-p -P, power of parenting please check out the merch site uh get yourself a t-shirt uh get yourself a mug and let's get get into this mr parag made a code why should i distinguish between white people and racists end quote cool. So let's see. Incoming Twitter CEO Par uh, Parag Agrawal, who will shortly replace Jack Dorsey as head of the far left social media company, uncritically repeated a quote in 2010 suggesting that there should be no need to distinguish, be distinguish between white people and racist. If they are going to make a distinction between Muslims and extremists, then why should I distinguish between white people and racist? In code, it is um, unclear who he was coding. So, so he made a reference to Muslims and extremists. Here's the problem. If anybody knows anything about Muslims, uh, I do. I know a lot about Muslims. I grew up in Iran, a uh, Muslim country. Now, here's the difference. Iranian people, very kind, very, very uh, generous, very uh, kind-hearted, uh, very friendly, and just like anybody else in the world, a lot major, majority of Muslims are very peaceful, very kind-hearted, very friendly people. And then you have the extremists. The extremists believe in something else than the, the than the majority do. And the only reason the extremists usually get into power is because they use extreme measures to put fear in people's heart. Um, and I don't want to get too far away from the topic here, but you know I think it's important to say that almost every group has some sort of extremism in them. That includes the Christians, that includes the Jews, that includes the Buddhists, that includes everybody. Everybody has some sort of extremist group or 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 like a small group or an entity in it. Now, how do you make a difference? Well, if you keep watching the news, you only see one side of the whole story. Um, in respect to the Muslim community, uh, the news only shows the violent side. The news will only show what the narrative is. They will not show the good side. A lot of Muslim people, a lot of Muslim community actually help each other out. They are very good neighbors. They are good friends. Um, and But if you want to look into the battlefield and the war zones, you're not going to see the best ones. That's just the truth. You're not going to see a suicide bomber who's been manipulated and propagated, not propagated, manipulated mentally, um, who has been uh, indoctrinated to believe that there's a higher power that's that you know he's gonna benefit from after his action mean being a suicide bomber. um isis extremists their views very extreme uh their taxes are very extreme they are murderers they are they are basically people that just they they want to put fear in people's hearts so they can take control more, more like what's happening here now in our own country with the vaccines and all that crap right so all the firing, all the mandates, all the stuff is basically putting fear in people's heart to basically take control of the people. Um, uh, but if you if you ever get a chance, if we ever get a chance to actually have peace with Iran, if we visit Iran, majority of the country, and I mean majority, meaning 99% of the country is very peaceful. If you go to Iraq, 99% of the country is peaceful because these are the people who lived amongst each other. Yes, they lived under a dictatorship because that's the only thing that functions there. But they were good neighbors. They were good friends. Um, and that's... Even if you go back to history, history shows this. Majority of people are friendly to each other regardless of what their background is. It's the government that comes in and screws everything up. 
just like what's happening here now. And Twitter is one of the problems because they're side they siding with the government, the government of their choice, I should say. Um, so the the more extremist extremist you get, the more radical your ideology becomes. So now in case of Twitter. Jack Dorsey stepping down. This guy's coming on. This guy apparently he's he, he he definitely sounds like a racist guy because he's been well. I shouldn't say racist. I think he's more prejudiced than he is racist. So when you have that type of mentality, do you think Twitter is gonna thrive? Do you think Twitter is gonna <coughs> excuse me stop censoring people? I don't think so. I think more censoring is gonna come in. More people are like, I'm gonna get locked down, and we're not gonna see any any benefit out of this. Uh, much, much like what the media has done to this country, the mo majority of the media has create has helped and assisted in creating the division in this country. How, basically, using the ISIS technique or any extremist group technique by putting fear in people's heart during the Trump administration when the coronavirus hit, all you saw was death tickers, all you saw was cases. That's all you saw. As soon as, as soon as Biden was sworn in, all the tickers are gone. There's no more tickers. Now, their messaging is the pandemic of the unvaccinated. That's their message. And the media picks it up to create more division, to create more hate between two groups of citizens. How do you prevent this? Well, Stop watching the news. Stop watching the news. Because they haven't delivered a single good news since I've been in this country. 27 years, I have not seen a good news. 27 years, all I've seen is bad news. Or terrible news. Or not good news. And with the technology aspect of it, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok... Um, parlor any of these news now uh, any of these social media places um, this is why you see people separating themselves from other groups getting more involved in groups who are who think alike which I th I don't think is good I think uh, I think everybody as, as as a unit we should all be all be able to talk to each other to, to express our disapproval or anything that we don't agree with and hear the other side to see what they have to say not by screaming and not by yelling so <clears throat> what's next i don't know i don't think twitter is going to get any worse than it actually twitter might get worse than what it is now with a new ceo jack dorsey made millions or billion i don't even know how much he made He's going to go off and do his thing. Maybe he'll start a new platform and become a competition to Twitter. Anyways, guys, you guys have a great night. And don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. Hit that bell button. Don't forget to check out the merch site, realimmigrantcorner.com. Get yourself one of these shirts. Love you guys. Peace out.